The concept of the show started seven years ago now and um, it was really just a way that I could actually combine all the different subjects that are in the department. So it was really just a way to be able to give the kids that opportunity, opportunity to work together on a collaborative project and something that actually is presented to the wider communities. Um, usually the theme of the World Art Show I think about about a year in advance uh, is something that I now, normally I'm standing here and probably standing here right now tonight at the back there somewhere and looking at the set and trying to come up with a new idea for the next year. I, I see what the kids are actually really interested in from that year of working on that particular wearable art design and I sort of take notes and I think about what they would be interested in for the following year. So the very first show was based on uh, Mad Hatters. Um, at the time we were actually looking at an art process which we call um, Cinetics and what we wanted to do is to try and get the kids to really think outside the square. So a lot of the students were looking into things such as using pottery and using you know, cards and using flowers and all these things to sort of combine, manipulate, morph, you know, so forth into their wearable art designs. Uh, the Rip Tear Recycle Parade was all about reusing, reusing materials, um, so we had fun sifting through things to find old um, barrels and materials and it was all about creating something that was almost like upcycling really. In 2013, the students were to create designs they could wear that were inspired by architecture. That is, famous buildings and other grand structures. So it was very interesting and I think it lent itself really well to this event. I recall an animation of Big Ben and other structures included the Eiffel Tower, the Leaning Tower of Pisa and the Burj El Arab, among other examples. The um, Wearable Art Show for 2014 was, the theme was pop art. Um, and so that's basically about, um, so it's all about things that are, that are kitschy and advertising um, mass produced products and images and really sort of um, having a bit of fun with, with imagery rather than taking things too seriously. So in 2015 the theme for the wearable art was surrealism. The theme where students had to explore this drawn line between reality and one's dreams. So in our graphics class, as soon as the students became familiar with this theme of surrealism, and as soon as the concepts came into play, they started creating exaggerated size on their dresses, colors, and it was quite interesting to see the variety of thoughts that the people had of surrealism. Mine being the wood queen. Steampunk is a mixture of themes like industrial and vintage, as well as bringing it to the modern day and um, incorporating things like steam-powered machinery. For this year, I'm doing graphics, which means I'm also creating a design for the show. And since I'm also doing fashion design, I'm also helping out um, and organising the behind the scenes of the show. Most importantly, I think it's given students an opportunity to apply their knowledge so they actually get to see what they've produced and they get to exhibit it in front of other people. So I think it's given them an opportunity to exhibit and uh, other people in the school community an opportunity to appreciate interesting art. Well, for a start, it's got bigger and it's got more pizzazz in it. And I think the amount of creativity that's been shown is increasing, which is absolutely fantastic. 